Howdy bo, my friends. So uh, the subject of this video is what mantra? And uh, I just got a, an email from an old friend of mine who is not yet a patron of ours, but uh, I've known for years now, uh, named Amy. And she was saying that she missed the vibe that we had 10 years ago when we were traveling and many of us together doing kirtans and that spirit and vibe, that high vibe that she missed it. And, uh, you know, especially during the time of Corona where it's hard for us to get together. So, uh, she's, you know, she mentioned, I'm missing that vibe. And I asked her, how was your japa practice? Your daily mantra meditation practice? And uh, she mentioned that she does other kinds of meditation, but uh, she asked the question, well, what mantra do you recommend? So here I am, uh, we're on a short vacation with our family. It's the first time we've gone anywhere since this Corona thing. And we have a small apartment that my mother-in-law rented at the edge of the beach in Bethany. Here, let me show you our view. So here's the porch, there's a pool. And there is the beach and you know we've been going down to the beach trying to keep away from folks and cooking our own meals not going out staying here you know in this apartment together our family my family my in-laws uh, and my brother-in-law's family so even though we're here I'm doing my daily mantra practice. I'm trying to find time around everyone else's schedule where I am pulling out and away from everything else. This morning I got to do some at the beach and I'm chanting on my mala beads. You guys know this. I've been on, I've done this diatribe before that these are not just for fashion, right? You know, I wear these on my wrist all the time, but these are not a fashion statement. They actually have a function, a purpose. They are for chanting. So what mantra? The mantra that I chant every day without fail, by God's grace, is called the Maha Mantra. Three simple words, Hare, Krishna, and Rama. And this simple mantra practice is considered to be like the jewel, the most precious gem that any of us could ever possibly own. Bhaktivinoda Thakur, a great saint, says, Nama bina kichu nahiko aro chauda bhuvana maje. That in the 14 planetary systems, I can't even begin to describe what that means. 14 planetary systems. There is nothing more valuable than the chanting of this Maha Mantra. So we do this. I do this no matter where I am. On vacation, I do this. I do this when I'm touring. I do this when I'm working. I find a time to chant. And you can do a different amount every day, but if you haven't started this chanting practice, I recommend doing one round. That means 108 beads on a mala, and each bead you do one mantra. So it takes about seven to 10 minutes when you first get started. So it would look something like this. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And then I pull the bead toward me. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, I want to recommend to Amy, I'm going to send her this video. I'm going to make this one public so everyone can see it. I recommend this mantra. Why? Hare Krishna and Rama. These three names of the divine. Krishna represents our dearest friend, the supreme friend, the most beautiful one. Our goal uh, is to reconnect with Krishna through this mantra. So Krishna. Then Hare. Hare is Sri Radha, the divine feminine. 
and we chant her name more times than anyone else's name in this mantra. Uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. So Radha's name is infinitely powerful and she is infinitely forgiving and loving and accepting. So she facilitates us, the soul, reconnecting with that Supreme Soul. So she is our kind of like, she's our, our social worker on the case. So Radha, Hare. And then Rama, one way to understand this mantra is that Rama represents the relationship, that loving relationship of bliss, of spiritual dynamism, strength, energy, and pleasure that comes from reconnecting our, our soul to the Supreme Soul. Um, so they say just like rivers, they make the long journey to flow down into the sea, sometimes many thousands of miles to reunite. So in that same way, this mantra is like that. It helps us to dig deep and create a current in our love to flow to the sea, to reconnect with Krishna. So Hare is, represents us uh, through Sri Radha, our representative in this case. Krishna, our divine destination, the supreme uh, uh, beloved, and Rama, the relationship between the two, the dynamic, loving relationship between the two. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. We can do another video on this later. Love to all of you. Hare Krishna.